Okay, so the secondary hull has had a chance to really dry. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this and we're gonna put reinforcing um, paint on it when we get done the nacelles <clears throat> to kind of bring this section together. But we're gonna put this aside for now. And we're gonna work on the nacelles. <clears throat> now, the starboard side nacelle, a third of it is actually gone. We've got the Bassard collector, and it's on, but the, the front of it is broken, and it's all burned out. Now, the port side nacelle, the entire frame is there, but there's a section on the top where the skin or the, the hull plating is all torn away, and you can see the frames. And the Bassard collector, uh, collector is actually gone. It's been blown off. So we're going to have to, to do that. So when it comes to the nacelles, we have each half. We've got the Bassard collector structure. And these are clear. And we have the coolers. And we've got the back. So we're going to do the production version. So we've got the back with the little ball in the the back of the nacelle and let me show you guys the nacelle again this is one one thousand scale so it's not huge but it's not as small as the one twenty five hundred scale so <clears throat> I'm thinking what we're gonna do is when we did the saucer section let me show you guys when we did the saucer section, I kept both halves separate. And then we did the damage, and then I put a few of the frames in, or I started it, and then we put the halves together. I think what I'm gonna do for the nacelles is I think I'm actually gonna put them together first, and then we're gonna add the damage. So the halves will go together, we got the Bassard collectors and um, the fronts of the Bassard collectors. Now these are clear. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, well, I'm gonna prime them. I'm gonna put some paint on it, just enough to, to like say that they're primed with gray. And then we're gonna spray the white paint over it like we've been doing with the secondary hull and the primary hull. And we're actually going to do some damage to the uh, Bassard collectors. We can put a base coat of the red on the Bassard collector. And then what I'll do is I'll put some silver to show that it, it's just not functioning anymore. And then we'll blacken the outside. But you can see we got the, the inner grill, the chiller grill. So let's go ahead and we're going to put together some... Uh, nacelles okay so we put the nacelles together and what I did was I put a coat of primer just enough to say that they're coated with gray and I put the inside red now usually when the inside is red is because the Bassard collectors are running properly however these are not running properly so let's see this one is this one is the port side nacelle. Actually, this one is the port side nacelle and this one is the starboard. Now the port side nacelle, this is totally destroyed. So, like I said, I had wanted to make it and then we'll bring it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill and I'm gonna try to snip it and bring it down. Again, I feel bad doing this to her. <laughs> She's had a really bad day. Not to say nothing about her crew. All right, we start snipping it. So you can see the trace of red and there's gonna be damage on the inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some hot glue and I'm gonna put the innards, the inner workings of the Bassard collector 
But let's bring, let's put some silver on the outside now. So we got a little bit of the silver and we got a little bit of the red. And then when we spray paint, I mean, we're not going to completely bury it black, but we're going to, we're going to put some burn damage with the black. And what that's going to do is that's going to create the illusion that it's been destroyed and taken off. Remember, we still got to put the outside on as well. But what I'm thinking is before we put the outside, we're going to do a little bit of gluing on the inside. Now for this section, for the starboard side, the Bessard collector is there. It's just the outer bulb that's destroyed. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some some paint. So I want to keep some of the red visible through the underneath to show that it was active at one time, but it's no longer active. And when we blacken the outer bulb, we'll be able to see little pieces of the inside of the different colors. We took the bulb and then I put a little bit of the gray on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to this is going to go over like that. What we need to do is we need to remove the clear section. So this could get a little dicey. So let's start to trim it a little bit. Oh, that. See, already, <laughs> that's starting to look pretty cool. So we're going to take the glue gun and we're going to put a little bit of glue inside. We've got a piece that's going to be sticking out where the Bassard collector was. And we're going to make sure that this... And because there's a piece in there, um, the way it's connected to put together, we can't really um, center it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it as best as we can and then when the glue hardens, I'll uh, bend it up and it'll be centered. All right, so we'll wait for that to harden. And the effect is gonna look really cool, guys. I know it looks terrible right now, but remember, um, when it comes to the paint job and with their, all the parts of this ship, remember, this ship is totally destroyed. It was only because it was the um, the talents of Mr. Scott that they actually got this working enough where they were able to use the uh, the phasers and the impulse what engine. We're gonna do is we're gonna drill in and then we're gonna snip around just to bring this down to the size where it's supposed to be. Again, this is not something <laughs> I feel bad about doing. I, I kind of feel bad about doing this to her. Okay, so now we got the nacelle going with the back part, and we're gonna actually glue the frame that's gonna come out. And what we'll do now is we're gonna glue, and we're gonna need the super glue for this. We're gonna start putting the distressed Bassard collector back on. So it's going to go this way. Okay, so we have those on. So let's go around. So you can see, when it broke apart, that probably did it justice, because now it looks cracked. Wow, that looks really cool. And don't forget, we're going to go over this, all of it, with that mist of the white. Okay, so we get the... The port side in the cell, the Bassard collector, is totally destroyed. As for this one, we're going to put some frames that are going to be coming out of this one. But first, we're going to do the same thing with this Bassard collector. Now we don't want it to look like a perfect hole, so let's see if we can do a little bit of the, uh, just a little bit, just to try to snip 
some surrounding area. All right, so you can see how there's like a hole and it's cracked. <laughs> That's actually a good thing. So you can see how it's off a little bit, like it's been blown apart, but it's still there. Suffered heavy damage. And what I did was I super glued the cracks. And we're gonna cover that. It's sad, but it's getting to be the desired effect. Okay. So let's get some of the frame ready. So we're gonna hot glue frames that are gonna come out the side. And we'll make it approximately as long as it was before. But we gotta straighten out some paper let's put in, Start putting in a frame. So when the glue hardens, we'll put a few more and we'll complete the circle of the frame. And it's nice because the way they meet in the middle and the way the hot glue is, it's gonna close off the end. So when we paint it, it'll look closed off. Kind of like what we did for the primary hull. We put some, uh, a little bit of the skin left. That's all charred. While this is hardening, I think we're going to take another one and let's see if we can get it to long enough where we can actually wrap it around the uh, nacelle to make like a, a it's ring. going to be distressed and it's going to be bent but I want to make a ring that's going to go on the inside so we're going to make a distressed ring that we're going to put into the frame All right, so it's tacked in place. So let's go ahead and we're gonna glue it a little bit more. All right, so we got the ring. And we'll snip some of that off when it's hard. All right, so when it comes to the length of the nacelles, you figure we'll, we'll snip them right about there. Okay. So again, we want to make it look like it was blown apart. And before we're ready to paint, we'll trim off some of the glue. As for this one, you guys, there's um, some damage up top. So what we got to do is I'm going to drill a few holes and we're going to start to make a little hole. And then we can put the frame in. All right, what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start snipping out an area just so that we can see that you can see the inside of the, of the nacelle. You can see that looks very distressed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, uh, the frames in. So we're gonna bend and we're gonna make the little frames just enough where we can put them along the line. Do this, put it in this way. You can see we're going to hold it against the nacelle and we're going to let the glue solidify. That way, there you can see we can make the framework on the inside. All right. You can see the interior damage. And 
and you can see the, the damage on this one. So I think all the pieces are on, they're ready to paint, and then we can put the decals on. Okay, so they had some time to dry. Look at that. I think what we can do now is we can do some of the detail. That looks pretty, uh, pretty wild. You can see we broke off all these little ridges and we put them in different areas just to make it look like it was destroyed and warped and pushed out of place. And we did that on both of them. At first I wasn't going to do it, but I'm like, well, remember she's blown apart and she was really, really traumatized. So it's only natural that all the stuff would be really out of whack. Again, looking very distressed. do the inside chiller grill we're gonna do that silver we're gonna do the panel way inside silver so let's get a little bit of the silver okay and for the, for the little pipes the grill use the gunship gray We got the chiller grill and just want to make sure everything is painted. We put a little bit of damage, a little bit of black on there for the damage. But I think that's for the painting, that's about it. So we can go ahead now and get ready to put the decals in. Okay, so they had some time to dry. And we're going to do the decals. I think what I'm going to do now is we're going to actually put it on to the, the secondary hull. Just so we can keep it straight. I clicked them to place relatively simply. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Hopefully the other, this side goes in just as easy. That <laughs> looks pretty wild, man. That looks so cool. All right. So now, while I, this is setting, we'll go ahead and we'll start cutting out the decals. So 
So these little markings go underneath the Bassard collector. There we go. You can see the marks that go on the bottoms. And now we can do the side. Let's do that side first. Pretty devastating, huh? When it's dry, we'll cut that off. And we get the markings on the bottom. So, why don't we put a little bit of the micro set on. Look at that. And go ahead and cut that. Here we are. All right, now we can start to think about painting. Okay, here we go. Why don't we start by doing this section.
There we are. Look at that. Look how devastated she looks. Oh, man. And we touched up the secondary hull. All right, now let's give her a chance to dry. Okay, so it had a little while to dry. You can see the nacelle. Remember back earlier in the video when I told you not to worry how horrible it looked because it would look pretty cool? <laughs> look at the destroyed nacelle in the Basari Collector. And you can see the turbine shaft inside. And you can see the damage to the nacelle to the top. And the deflector dish, we touched up some of the, the burning marks, the scorch marks. You can see that would be the starboard nacelle. Seen its better days, it was absolutely destroyed. And to give you kind of a picture what it's gonna sort of look like, we got that. Let me take you off the, uh, the tripod and I'll give you a little tour. Look at that, huh? Look at the nacelle. All the scorch marks right down to being destroyed in the back. The back of the ship. And we've got some scorch marks along the port nacelle where there's some of the hull plating missing on top. More scorching. So that, my friends, is a nacelle build. Well, nacelles build. And we're almost finished. Don't look now, but all we got to do is do the final assembly and we're going to put the clear coat on. And my friends, I thank you for watching. And we'll do the finale of the build very soon. Thanks for watching.